Thanks to Rach for sponsoring this video. All right, so if you can keep a secret, uh, here is allegedly what the iPhone 16 is gonna look like. All right, so at this point, we are just like weeks away from Apple pulling back the curtain on the whole like iPhone 16 series of phones. And I say this like every year, but it's crazy that it's been like a year since the 15. But here we are. So from all like the rumors, leaks, and even some of like the dumb units that have been, you know, floating around, we have a pretty good sense what the iPhone 16 series of phones is going to be. And this might actually be the year to hold off on upgrading to the latest iPhone. And like, obviously, it's gonna, a huge caveat, it's gonna depend on like what phone you have now and what features you need. But it seems like the iPhone a lot of people are waiting for is going to be next year's iPhone, the iPhone 17. So one of the biggest announcements the last few years has been Apple Intelligence. This was the latest and biggest update to iOS and Apple software we've seen since, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say iOS 7. Now, finally, Apple is updating like the long, very long outdated Siri. If I ever hear her go, mm -hmm, uh, again, uh, it'll be too soon. Uh, and also, obviously, they're gonna be integrating some of the great AI features we've kind of grown to expect. It's like the barriers to entry now of flagship devices. And Apple said this is gonna be coming with the latest version of iOS 18 software, but that's, that's like a half truth. Uh, when the iPhone 16 launches, it will not come loaded uh, with Apple intelligence. And say when you use Siri, it's gonna be the same version of Siri that we've had for years that has to like look stuff up on the web. Okay, I found this on Wikipedia. All right, so this news comes from Mark Gurman from Bloomberg, who's been pretty reliable, uh, who said that the AI features will launch sometime later in the fall of iOS 18.1. That was later confirmed by actually Apple themselves, launching an iOS 18.1 beta, which included our first look at these new features in Apple intelligence. So all the hype around the iPhone 16, all these AI improvements, I think like real quickly died down. That 18.1 announcement, I think like cut them off at the knees. But I think it points to another reason why Apple intelligence might not be worth like sprinting for the iPhone 16 for. Uh, it seems that a lot of the AI features Apple's working on we've rolled out in phases. So be sure with 18.1, we'll get some of the text editing features, a uh, new Siri interface, which does look pretty sharp, uh, some AI features in apps, but I don't think we're gonna see everything that Apple promised. Plus, as AI goes, it'll likely be that Apple will continue to add new features and think of cool new ways to use all this new AI. So if you're waiting for the iPhone 16 just for the artificial intelligence stuff, you might have to wait a while. And as long as you're waiting, waiting for the iPhone 17, will mean you'll get all the AI features up front instead of having to kind of wait throughout the year to get them. This has become a really common occurrence with Apple these days. So I don't know if you're gonna get a new phone this year or next year. I don't know what phone you currently have, but a new phone is expensive. What if I could like give you a way to make that a lot easier? So this video is sponsored by Ridge, but like the marketing level chess that they're doing while the rest of the wallet world is playing checkers is unheard of. You can win this. this oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that's hard to miss. So. This is a 24 karat plated Tesla Cybertruck. <laughs> nice job, Rich. This is cool. That's not your speed. You may want something a little more demure. Uh, I don't know. How about a Hennessy Velociraptor? That's not your jam. Uh, you can also just pick $100,000 in cash. As if like the regular Cybertruck didn't turn enough heads. Um, it looks... Exactly how it looks in like pictures and video is how it looks in person. So first, it is free to enter. All the information that you need will be down below. The giveaway is gonna run until September 13th. There are a ton of ways to enter, and you can even enter uh, for free if you want, but every $1 that you spend on the Ridge website equals one entry, and Ridge is gonna give you four times the entry if you purchase the Cyber Wallet or Hennessy Specialty Products using my link. Uh, this is the Hennessy edition one that I've been rocking too. They got a, a key case. You carry a ton of keys, it makes it more of like a low profile thing in your pocket. They've got phone cases, they've got luggage, they've got rings, uh, and a ton more. You can win this, you could win a hundred grand, you could win a Hennessy Raptor if you want. You could win a lot of cool stuff. Uh, also, it's like free to enter. It's free in the market for any of that, or just want to serve your shot to win one of these incredible prizes, uh, hit my link down below to check it out. It seems that like software is becoming like less and less of a reason to run out on day one and get a new phone. Unfortunately, Apple Intelligence is only going to run on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max and later. So if you want to use it, you'll have to buy a new phone 
eventually, unless you already have one of the compatible ones. And this is, I think, a pretty big bummer for a lot of users out there who have slightly older phones or even those running the iPhone 15 to 15 Plus, which are current gen phones, still not work. So for many people to get AI, you will have to upgrade the hardware at some point, but it might be worth saving your hard-earned bucks for the 17 instead of going for the 16. And I'm gonna talk about the 17 in a minute, I promise. But software isn't the only thing. Hardware's a big reason why the iPhone 16, again, might be one you wanna set out on. If you look at all the rumors, renders, and alleged dummy units that we've seen here, these phones, aside from some new buttons and the way the cameras are arranged, look pretty much identical to the iPhone 15 series we have now. We're expecting colors, new camera orientation on the regular 16s, new capture button. That's kind of it. Uh, this is another year of the same design, which like I think people like, but it's nothing new. And we're starting to get word that the iPhone 17 might finally see something completely different from Apple, meet the iPhone 17 Air. So we are pointing to Apple making a new SKU of iPhone that focuses on thinness, a lot like it did with the new iPad Pro hardware. The new iPhone will take size to the limit, and I think give sort of iPhone users a reason to get excited about the iPhone again. So this new phone will not be a flagship phone, it's allegedly gonna sit between the iPhone 17 and 17 Pro, but it would give customers a new choice. It might feel more premium, but won't cost nearly as much as the Pro Series. It might also allow Apple to take the Pro Series way more Pro, probably charge more money for it, and still offer a premium product. I'm guessing at that price point, that's probably where the Pro is now. And this new SKU could do a few things. First, to give Apple a new marketing push to bring a new product to kind of brag about, show some commercials about that feels flashy, feels great in the hand. I think it makes up for kind of years of boring iPhone updates. But it also means Apple can differentiate from the phones themselves. The Pro will be more Pro, since it'll be more normal SKUs for everybody else. And this could turn out to be extremely popular for Apple. If you look at their other like Air products, you've got the iPad and the MacBook, these are some of the top sellers that Apple has. It's easy to see this happening with the iPhone as well. Another new iPhone that we might see uh, is the elusive iPhone Fold, more likely iPhone Flip. It's probably not gonna look like this, but the idea is there. This has been rumored for years at this point, but it seems more and more likely it might actually happen. And according to the website, the information, uh, we might see this folding phone in 2026, which would put it in line with the iPhone 18 series, which is not that far away. Rumors are pointing this to being very similar to the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, which unfolds to be the same size as a regular phone. This is opposed to the other folding variant, which kind of unfolds like a book to be the size of a tablet. The Z Flip seems to be gaining a lot of popularity, and it's obviously a fun phone to use. It lets you have a big screen, but keeps it small while it's in your pocket. And according to some sources, the folding prototypes Apple was working on have gained an internal nickname, V68, which indicates this is a move from prototype stage onto development with suppliers. And this gives us the most solid rumors we've had yet on this phone. So if Apple does come out with this in the next few years, it could mean the iPhone landscape will be completely different from what we have right now. And it might just be the excitement that we're looking for. So now, even though waiting for next year's hardware makes a lot of sense this year, if you're rocking an older iPhone, at least there's gonna be another route that you could go. Instead of upgrading to the iPhone 16 series, you can instead pick up an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. These are the current generation of phones, and when a new one gets released, I can be able to get a great discount on the 15 series. And it still has the hardware needed to run Apple Intelligence. Still has got awesome features, still has the action button, USB Type-C, great camera. It's not all that different from the iPhone 16 Pro that we're expecting. So it's a really great way to kind of skip the 16 and save some money in the process if you have to have uh, a new phone. I can't make a decision for you. Whatever you decide to do, it seems that this year is more unique when it comes to options for iPhone. So we're, we're going on like the fifth generation of phone that looks nearly identical to each other. So having finally some solid rumors of something different coming next, I think makes sitting this generation out even easier than ever.